we're all very fond of the story. We've all grown up with the story, as have most Brits. Um, but if you're asked to sing a song from a version of Wind in the Willows, you're pretty hard pushed to do it. And so the, the, the concept of coming up with a classic big music musical in the same way that we have done with Mary Poppins and with Peter Pan did appeal to us. And we had been looking for another show to do with Julian Fellows. So in a way, it felt like a natural fit. Mm. Well, big musicals are always a labour of love. We actually wrote it very quickly mm -hmm. and we finished it about three years ago. But, you know, it takes a time to get a big show to the stage. You've got to find the right cast, you've got to find the theatres for it, and you've got to assemble a creative team and their availabilities. The wonderful thing is that we're working again, not only with Julian Fellows, but with Rachel Kavanagh, who's also directing. And she was on board to do that before she was snapped up by Cameron to do Half a Sixpence. So it's really her year as well, which I'm just thrilled about, because she's one of our oldest friends. And so much of amazing. it is, is getting the diaries lined up. And we've been very busy because we had travels with my aunt on earlier in the year in Chichester, so we were very heavily involved with that. We had the Three Little Pigs that was on in London last summer, which took out part of last year. That one then went to Sydney Opera House, which I went with. And but finally, we found this slot when Jamie Hendry is available to produce, Rachel is available to direct, we're available, mm -hmm. Julian's available, and we put the cast together. So it's just taken a while, and, and it's one of those things cast. when when you have a producer who doesn't own a theatre, you have to find a slot. So we found a slot in Plymouth, and then he managed to marry that up with Salford and Southampton. So we've got a nice little tour for the autumn, and then hopefully, if people like it, it'll come into the West End early next year. Rufus is perfect for Toad, um, and casting has been a joy, because we were only involved in the later stages, although we did a lot of going through lists and consultations and all the rest of it. But what we've realised is we, we have made a version for 2016, so we, we've very much got a cast that looks like modern Britain. It's not just anymore an old boys club knocking around in Edwardian motor cars, um, saying, oh ratty, my dear thing. We, it, we hope it's, you know, despite Julian's involvement, it's, and, and Julian most of all has wanted to move it beyond that too. So it is, it's a kind of timeless story um, about friendship and that's why we really do think it's a great moment to be telling that. And it's about the things that bind us together rather than the things that separate us. And goodness knows at the moment, I think we really need those stories. We've also got new characters added to this version of the story that aren't in any other version of Women in the Willows. So we now have Mrs Otter who loses her daughter, which is a, a story thread that runs right through it, um, played by Sophia Nombetti, who's going to be absolutely fantastic, I think. And we've also got um, a hedgehog family um, who are um, not terribly fond of the road and the advent of motor cars. And uh, Mrs Hedgehog, it turns out, is also the clerk of the court who is helping in responsibility for sentencing Toad. So uh, yes, it gets his comeuppance in that respect. So we've tried to join together more threads of the story, mm -hmm. which is very picaresque in the original book.